Bonnie Francis and I have Bonnie Walters with us. This is the Seasoned Adult Show and we talk about what's happening in your senior centers in Queen Anne's County. So Bonnie, tell us for July, I know a new session has started. Um, we'll we start, yes, the beginning of July we started in our uh, a new session is correct. And for those who aren't familiar, um, the sessions are basically guided through um, Chesapeake College. We get our instructors through them, so it, which is an advantage for us because there's some grant money that helps offset the cost of the teachers. Right. So the instructors come from Chesapeake College and you pay a minimal fee. Uh, we're very fortunate for the various classes that we have because there's really something for almost everyone. Right. Between exercise, between dance classes, between um, some Cards. art classes. Cards and all that kind of stuff. but um, Knitting. <laughs> yeah, well, they're clubs, so you don't pay for those. It's just the only time you have to pay for a class at a senior center is if there's an instructor from the college. Okay. And the price ranges from 15 to $30. And the difference is whether it's a one-hour class, a one-and-a-half-hour class, or a class, one-hour class that meets twice. Two, two times. A, a week. Right. Yep. That's the big difference. Um, the classes do fill up quickly, especially the exercise classes, because... Uh, we want to make sure people have room to do their thing with the exercise, so um, they become very popular. Uh, the main one is this enhanced fitness that takes place yeah. um, at Kent Island and Graysonville, and it's a half hour of low impact aerobics and a half hour of strength training with weights. And they tell us as we get older, it's still it's never too late. Uh, you can start exercising now, and you can gain back a lot of that muscle mass that you've lost. Right. When you stop, you lose it as fast as you get it back. So it's something that we really need to keep going. So um, you can sign up at all three senior centers. Um, there is a chart that will be coming out on the computer. I know you probably can't see this, but basically what it is is all the classes that are offered right. at all three senior centers where the classes are offered and information how to get in touch with each one of the senior centers. So if there's a particular class, for instance, if you want to do... Um, the beginner line dance. They only do a beginner line dance at um, Ken Island and on one day a week. There's there's line dance classes at the other centers, but they only have one beginner. And um, bingo's at all three. Bingo's at that. all three. You get you're good with bingo <laughs> at all three. That's absolutely correct. And again, uh, um, a lot of people like bingo. This is true. Well, I always say there's something for everybody. Yep. Um, if you're not into the exercise, even though we preach that you should be. There's always bingo, and there's a way to do bingo and exercise, too, so you just have to go through. That's the big thing. Well, the main thing is getting out to the center. Yes, you um, need to come and in We and don't want up. people just watching us on TV at home. We want you to get out and get involved. And get moving. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, they all say if you don't use it, you lose it, so right. that's one of the big things. Um, there is computer classes uh, at all three centers. We're very fortunate that... Um, the Commission on Aging for Queen Anne County f makes the commissioners take a tour every year on a county ride bus. Right. So you talked about the captivated audience on both sides. So they tell us lots of stuff that, you know, we kind of don't quite understand and they kind of give us some background, which makes it interesting. But they also get to go in the center. And a lot of them, either they're so busy or they're just not of age yet and think, oh, well, I, I don't need to do that. And through one of our visits last year, um, Two questions came up. Why don't two centers have updated center uh, computers? computers? Mm -hmm. And why is there not Wi-Fi in the senior centers? So there is now. All three senior centers have Wi-Fi, and they all have updated computers. Um, the formal classes, there's uh, someone to help, a volunteer to help at both Kent Island and Sellersville. But Graceville has an instructor that actually comes in, and he does uh, classes for your iPhones, um, any of your smartphones, regardless of what kind you have. He does the tablets, right? Um, and he's doing beginner internet. Somebody had to ask. There were several. We had um, an information poll of what would you like to see, you know. And there was quite a few people that wanted to get back in and who were just realizing technology is here to stay, and you better get with it. And and that's not an easy thing to do because when you have a class like that, people are on all different levels. Yes. You have someone that might come in that only knows how to turn it on, and that's it. And to go through what an app is and the, just the lingo right. of, of right. things. So um, it was interesting. The first time um, James, as our instructor, did the smartphones, he just said, smartphones. Well, there's the iPhone and there's the Android and, you know, all these different makes. Well, he said, oh, I will never do that again. Yeah. Because it was hard to be, 
he finally ended up saying, okay, you have this kind of phone, you're on this side of the room. You have this kind of phone, you're on this side of the room. So, it, you know, he could kind of, let me show you this, that, 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 right. and work on that. And let me show right. you this, that, that, because it's very different how you get in, how you do things. Mm -hmm. So he's learned his lesson of not doing it together. So he separates them out, one's in the morning, one's in the afternoon. Um, he's also doing Facebook, which the seniors are really have had, I don't want to do that, I don't, you know. But then they realize all their great kids are on Facebook. So you may not want to be overly active, but you can go in and check everything out, yeah. see who's doing That's what. That's how I do. I very rarely, rarely do I post, but I watch and see what's happening. Right. Who's doing what and, and you know, what's going on. So I'm um, kept abreast. Oh, you goodness. Know. Everybody tells you, like, I got up this morning, I had coffee. No, I don't have trouble for that. I don't have time for that kind of stuff. But to see the different activities, that what's going on in your family and in the neighborhood, and just even your surroundings post now on Facebook. So. Right. It's good to know how to do it, and it's not as hard as you think. And James has the patience of Job, I tell people, because he's very, very patient, and he's, he's very good about He works well with seniors, let me right. put it that way. So, right. And that, those classes are actually at Graysonville. Um, another specialty class that we have, uh, we were fortunate. We started it in April, or in March, rather, and we've been going along. Uh, there is only one indoor pool in Queen Anne County currently, and it is in the industrial park in Stevensville off of Route 8. Right. And back in March, we partnered with them through the senior centers to hold an adult swim class. It is not a one-on-one -on -one swim class, but you're getting basic swim lessons, um, how to do some strokes, that kind of thing, uh, getting you over the fear of the water if that's your concern. We're doing some water safety tips with um, grandparents having their kids come grandchildren come for the week or whatever you don't have to be an avid swimmer to know what to do around water safety features things well, you need to learn and and for seniors sometimes they have injuries that happen yes and, and when you're in the water you might be able to do some exercises to help right. build that muscle strength right. like you talked about before when you're doing that workout right it's less resistance in the water so it might be easier for someone to do a swim class right. and, and get the exercise they need. And we've been very fortunate that uh, they've been very partnered very well with us with this whole idea. Now we've had a change of ownership and I said to the new owner, you know, we're really into this, you're not going to stop us. He said, absolutely not. Good. So um, the new owner, it's Fitness RX now, he also has a gym down in uh, Easton. So pool ideas are new to him. He doesn't have a pool facility down in Easton. <clears throat> so he's agreed for the month of July and August to continue. Our Tuesday class has an instructor. Our th and we now have a Thursday class as well. So you can go in, practice what you've learned, the e or do your exercises. Some folks are up to doing laps, that kind of thing. So Thursday is what we call a open swim. So it, it's a great deal for um, four one hour classes for fifteen dollars. I mean it's the best deal in town. So but the best part is you have to come to the senior center to sign up. So yeah. we haven't gotten you in the center for anything else. We're gonna get you in the center now and it's been interesting to see some of the folks who either would never come into a senior center and once they got exposed to it, now they're coming to do classes at the center as well as the swim class. Right. And also ones who said, Oh, I'm not going to that gym. I'm not gonna deal with all those young people, you know, and blah blah blah. We have half a dozen now have joined their gym for other reasons for some of the classes that they have. So it's worked really well for both. It's a win-win situation right. for both. Right. So uh, that is starting July. So you want to go to one of your senior centers and sign up for either a Tuesday or a Thursday, or you're welcome to do both. Um, some of the classes, and I guess I should need to mention um, July 4th, we will be closed on the 3rd right. since July 4th is on a Thurs uh, Saturday. So all three centers will be closed for July 3rd. Right. So that's kind of a quiet week. Classes have winding down between this week and at the end of June going into uh, July, the first week. And then the new classes will start the this, second week of July. Right. And that's kind of where Which we are like so far. Which is like the 6th, right? Um, yes, sixth Monday the 6th. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And, and we still have, like each month, um, Ask a Nurse. Those yes. types of things that Blood they pressure. come out. Right. And, right. and I almost forgot what I was telling you about the summer fun chart. Uh, the classes now, when you sign up in July, go through to October. Right. Because there's three sign-ups. There's one in July, one in October, and one in February. So even if you're going to the beach for a week, 
Uh, yeah, you want to sign it's up a now. Good deal. You want to sign up now because you don't want to miss out on the class, and you've got the rest of the time right. to October. So, go in and sign up, even if you're going to miss a week. The price is so good; it, it, it's well worth it. But this particular chart, with all three centers, will appear in the Women's Journal for July, August, and September. Uh, the centers have found that's a good resource for us to advertise right. what, what goes on. Uh, gets it out in the community so you can pick up one of those and you can have this on your bulletin board. And that's kind of it for right now. Any trips for July? Well, we do have trips for July. Let me get the stack over here. Or anything they could sign up for, maybe. Yes, and, and I will tell you, like, folks have learned, oh. oh, I want it. I said, well, we tell you all the time. Yeah, sign yeah. Up you got to sign up early or they're filled up. Right. July 14th is a Tuesday. Uh, Graceville is going to Longwood Gardens. And I'm going to ask you to talk about that because I'm going to call. Okay. Um, the trip to Longwood Gardens <coughs> and Haggy <coughs> Museum happens Tuesday, July 14th, and it's $50 a person. Um, $20 deposit is due at your sign-up, and they'd like you to have the balance in now. Um, they wanted it by June 16th. Um, Transportation is included to Longwood Gardens and Hagley Museum. The meal is going to be on your own, and you got a plan to tip the bus driver, so, you know, he knows he's appreciated. But Longwood Gardens has beautiful flowers all summer long. You know, there's different things you can see at the museum, people that are into history. Um, I know we took the kids there one time on a field trip. So it's a really good trip. Um, it is going to, um, what it says here, um, let me read that part to you. Um, Hagley Museum for a visit to the first DuPont family home in America. While there, we will check out the Visitor Center, the 19th Century Machine Shop, the Power Yard, um, bringing the industry revolution to life. Finally, we will stop for dinner, and that's on your own, so have money for that for um, Texas Roadhouse on the way home. And that's the new one in uh, Middletown. Okay. Yeah, the time is they depart Graysonville Senior Center at 730. They pick up at Sellersville at 8 o'clock. And then 9.30 to 12, you'll be at the gardens, being able to look at the different flowers and things they have. Then from 12.30 to 3.30, you'll be in Hagley Museum. And then 4.15, um, get to Texas Roadhouse, get a good meal, and then back on home. I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get filled up and go. Now, do you know if there's still space available there for that There is not one? many, but there are several seats still available for Longwood Gardens, yes. Okay. Yes. And there's only one other one that's going on in July, if you want to mention that as well. I'm kind of putting okay. you on the spot here. but No, that's okay. One of those crazy oh, this one costs. I looked at down at um, the Ken Island Senior Center, yeah. and I thought that it's this very is interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, it says that you'll learn about oyster agriculture. And um, this trip's going to happen July 29th. The price is $69.25 per person. Um, it says, enjoy a tour of Hooper's Island Oyster Agriculture Company, a producer and marketer of high-quality half-shell oysters and the equipment that's needed to support the fledgling aquaculture industry in the state of Maryland. See how the company farms oysters from baby spat to full-size edible oysters. Now, and oysters are a good thing that help clean the bay. And I know that the state tries to encourage some oyster right. farms from putting the shells out there so it can help with our bay cleanup. Right. Um, it, on here for the trip, it says, enjoy a narrated cruise aboard the 50-foot Sawyer vessel. Um, Captain Dave Schauber gives us a history of the area and discusses how the commercial fishermen in the area make a living with the use of trout lines, crab pots, and pound nets. After that, enjoy a local home-cooked buffet-style meal at Old Salty Restaurant. The meal features seafood items like fried soft-shelled cra crabs, crab cakes. It says you can only have one per person. <laughs> Fish, clam strips, as well as lemon prep, pepper chicken, ham, vegetables, and dessert. And then enjoy, uh, you know, other homemade pies and things like that. You know what's kind of nice about doing one of these trips when I looked at it is that there's so many of us who are not from Maryland and you know regardless of where you've lived in the country you've you've had access to oysters sometime or another but did you ever think what it takes to make that oyster on the plate oh and, yeah you know so there's yeah. a lot to keeping the farming of oysters so this would be very informative for some of us who are called chicken neckers that um, are from Maryland. Those of us that grew up around here remember the Narrows having 
shacks living there that people lived in, I've and they that. actually yeah. shucked the oysters. The the uh, <clears throat> oysters that came in, you know, that's uh -huh. what they did. They shucked the oysters right there, and that's how they made their living. And that's part of history. That's really who the Narrows of Ken Island is? Well, well, there's not a lot of people that like to do that job. No. And that's no. the hard part. Right. Is when you have the seafood industry like this, someone has to. Yes. I mean, just like picking the crabs. You know, it's in order to sell crab meat, you got to have someone pick the crab to sell it. See, in my world, that's why I have a granddaughter on one side and yeah. a grandson, yeah. teenage grandson on the <laughs> other side, and they can feel sorry for me because I sit and I fool with them and they say, well, you're some. You're like, okay, you know. <laughs> But it, I think it would be a very interesting trip, yes. I think it would be very educational. And, and the and number, food. if you're interested, that says to call 410-604-3801. That's Ken Island Senior Center. And get the information, you know, if there's room, how many spaces, how many people you want to go with you or whatever. Right. And back to the Longwood Gardens one, uh, that's by Graysonville. So you can give them a call at 401 and I think we're, that's good for the beginning of July to get out there to sign up for your classes. Um, if you're interested in any classes, give a center a call, and they'll be glad to give you the information. Yeah. Hopefully, Mike and I will get out and film it, some of these. So get out to the class so we can do an interview with you. Now, you don't want to scare them away before they start. <laughs> <laughs> now, most of the centers, I know some of the people there. That yes, they, they you see name. you two coming. They yeah. say, oh, here we go. Here we go. They're <laughs> but they coming enjoy. again. Yeah. Everybody have yeah. a good fourth.